Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve practice problem 3.4 from Sadiku book. So the question is find V1, V2, and V3 in the circuit of figure 3.14 using nodal analysis. Okay, because we have two nodes that connected by this voltage source, V1 and V2 is connected by this voltage source, and V2 and V3 are, is also connected by this dependent voltage source we need to do a super node analysis so let's let's make this v1 v2 and v3 as a big super node okay so let's let's make it very big super node like this so we'll have this as super node and then let's assume the direction of the current this is going down we know this is i and this will be going down and this also going down and this maybe this is going to the right and let's see what can we get from here let's do kcl at the super node yeah let's do that kcl at super node okay what does kcl say kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay all the current is going out this current this current is this current is going out but this current is going out but also going in so they will cancel each other so i just need to see the the three currents that going down okay on the left hand side i think i will have zero because no current that goes in and then on the right hand side we will have this current here which is v1 minus zero divided by the resistance between them why zero because this is the ground so the voltage here will be zero okay and then this current here we will have plus v2 minus zero divided by four and then for here i will have v3 minus zero divided by three and i think we can multiply both sides by 12 okay and for this one 2 and 12 will cancel into 6 so i will have 6 v1 minus zero is v1 so i will have 6 v1 then plus 4 and 12 will cancel into 3 so i will have 3 v2 minus zero is just v2 e2 and then plus 3 and 12 will cancel into 4 so i'll have 4 here and we will have v3 because v3 minus 0 is just v3 and let's move the 0 to the right hand side so we'll have 0 and i think nothing that we can do from here let's have this as equation number one okay but we have three variables here so we need two more equation right so we will have this 25 volt so let's do uh 25 volt voltage source okay the meaning of this symbol is the difference between this node and this node is 25 volt right so we will have p1 minus v2 is equal to 25 so this is our second equation and then for the third equation i will see this dependent voltage source by using the same logic so i have dependent voltage source okay that means that the difference between the positive node and negative node is 5i so we will have v3 minus v2 is equal to 5i and what is i i is this current here which is v1 minus 0 divided by 2 so let's substitute that so i have v3 minus v2 that will equal to 5 and then we have v1 minus 0 
divided by two. Good. And I think we can multiply both sides by two to cancel these two out. Okay, so on the left hand side, we will have 2v3 minus 2v2 and then we will have this one will be 2 and 2 will cancel each other v1 minus 0 will be v1 so we will have 5 v1 okay and let's move all this to the right hand side so i will have 5 v1 and then oh, this is v2 5v1 and then plus 2v2 then minus 2v3 good all of that will equal to 0 and this is the third equation okay i think the slide is full let's clean the slide so what we need is this three equation here equation number one number two and number three okay let's clean up the slide Okay, the fastest way to solve three equations with three variables is by using calculator. Okay, let's do that. We'll have this Casio calculator. And then let's set up this as an equation solver, which is number five. Three equation, three variables is number two. And let's plug the coefficient. So I'll have six and then three and then four and then zero the second one i will have one minus one and be careful here because we don't have v3 so v3 is zero and then we will have 25 okay and the last one i will have five and then two and then minus two and then we'll have the zero. Okay, what is V1? So I will have V1 that will be 7.608. Let's do that. V1 is 7.608. And what is V2? V2 is minus 17.39. Okay. 17.39 and then what is v3 v3 is 1 1.630 1.630 1.630 and the unit here will be fold right fold fold and also fold Okay, and that is the result, and I think I did not make any mistakes because this is the same as the answer given by the problem. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.